there welcome to my lazy panda tech blog so today i am going to discuss about how to configure sso with aws cognito with a uh, 40 of open aim identity as an uh, with saml assertion so uh, few of the companies organizations are already leveraging their 40 of open aim uh, enterprise identity to for access management and um, uh, and also it provide the few on premises or cloud application as an uh, um, authorization as an uh, to provide the authorization or to uh, grant the user um, with uh, open aim identity and uh, they manage their all applications via single sign on so this is a very basic architecture diagram so this green block is basically a mobile and web application which is going to call the aws cognito url to leverage that user who is going to log into the application so that flow will go to first aws cognito then cognito will send one saml that is already configured in cognito side and that saml will pass to forge rock and forge rock will take that saml validate it and show the login page to your mobile or web application so then user provide their credential and after providing the credential it will pass the credential to forgerock forgerock again provide the same saml assertion response to cognito and cognito will check that user is actually present their create it or update accordingly and then pass the token to the login page like the code will be generated and that using that code the web or mobile application is uh, responsible to call another api the token api which will provide the bearer token um, and to continue with the application and to access the middleware using that token application can get the data uh, for its business perspective so this is the basic architecture diagram defines here and um, how to configure this um, forge rock in your system um, there are very basic and few of the steps you need definitely need to follow and uh, there are some prerequisites component you have had to present in your computer like apache tomcat open a uh, 13 version i have used uh, in that demo so um, those are the prerequisites you would need, definitely need to have before starting anything um, and then also you need to set up your aws cognito with the user pool so those the basic steps i already described in my previous blog please check out that blog if you are interested to do that and um, then after uh, once you do that and go through the other blog you will come there and let me go there quickly and so there you can create your aws cognito pool and you need to create one pool then set up the um, domain and then um, uh, using that angular i i will um, definitely you know, leverage the token and to show how the application will use that token to get any data from uh, defined um, middleware so now go back and here i am uh, again once it is done with my cognitor setup there are some few more steps we definitely need to perform for saml assertion but uh, that will come later uh, um, but uh, you first you need to set up your forger of open aim as an idp um, uh, provider so uh, that you need to do first first um, you need to change the localhost one to 7.0.0.1 to ask some fqdn uh, values uh, which i am doing here like open aim and doing demo.com and then i am going um, th through all of those things like uh, creation of the 
installation of the Apache Tomcat and then installation of uh, OpenAIM there. <coughs> and <coughs> once you are um, installed the OpenAIM, you create the default configuration and then you need to wait for some couple of minutes to set up your configuration um, done and um, uh, then you need to create your uh, create your AWS um, AWS as an RELM and um, there you need to provide your uh, identity provider so there are a few steps already he is mentioned here and uh, that ITP metadata also you, once you are done with all the setup configuration you can uh, download the ITP metadata from uh, by running that curl command so um, you can have that uh, ITP metadata.xml file in your site so this metadata we are we need to pass in cognito so that can authorize that uh, that can identify that okay my service provider is um, for open aim so I need to solve the uh, request which is coming from the front-end side so this is the um, steps which you need to perform in um, open aim site and then you need to come back to the AWS site so in AWS site you need to earlier we are choose we choose that uh, cognitive default UI but this time you need to come to federation then as an identity provider and you need to select SAML as an identity provider and upload your XML file identity's name you need to provide there and then also add some attribute configure the attribute as well as create some client that uh, angular client which we, we are going to um, have the callback and uh, log out as well so uh, those things you need to configure it and the xml file which as an which will work as an service provider the basic template i have given here but you need to update the pool id as well as the domain name here and um, <coughs> you need to upload it in uh, forger oxide again so once you are done with your co cognito site configuration you again need to come back to your own um, uh, forger oxide and in forger the you need to navigate to the saml v2 provider and in saml v2 provider you need to upload this xml file um, uh, to um, uh, for an uh, service provider so that um, Cognito, whatever request comes from the Cognito, OpenAIM can validate it. <coughs> Let's jump back to the code as I already have the um, uh, earlier code base. There, I have just modified the URLs and the few of the tokens as well. So, right now, I am going to call this authorized URL, worth to authorized URL with. Um, uh, with uh, client ID definitely and uh, just scope is open ID plus profile and the IDP identifier as an open end so let's let me start that one So a basic application is um, running here. I just open the network tab and click on login. So it will redirect to the uh, open aim site and if I click on it, it will uh, prompt the open aim login page here. Let me just clear this console. 
I already have an user which is created in OpenAIM site. So um, let me log in with that user. Logging in. <coughs> okay, so just have a look that token is being called with the access token and refresh token. So every details you will get from here. So cognito groups as well as the username wh whichever is passed. So the details yeah, I am just um, getting it from the Biana token. So this is the basic idea and the access token which I have received from Cognito site rather OpenAM site this you this access token will be used for next call to connect with any middleware service and the, using that um, uh, token the middleware can validate the user is authorized or not authorized so like that way it can be built so this is the very basic example I have created um, if you are interested to do the same in your local site please go through of that blog if you have any challenges if you have any suggestions any comment please leave a message here so I can follow up those things I can rectify those things even I can reply you with uh, some suggestions as well okay uh, that's it for the for today thank you for watching that video if you like it please comment subscribe my channel we'll come back with some new topic tomorrow thank you have a nice day